Oh, uh, 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 what? Oh, she shot him. Huh? I was going to win that fight. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie culture lovers, we are back again. It's the Big Garbage Channel, it's Dave here. And uh, we are carrying on with episode 4 of Peace Baker. Uh, last time was fantastic. We found out what butterflies are. Um, we, you know, it surprised me really. I didn't think that was going to be what they were going to be. It seemed to be alien moths taking over human hosts. That was weird. We found out uh, that. Uh, uh, Peacemaker did have trouble killing for a little bit. He had a little bit of a had a bit of a wobble, and uh, luckily, Assassin was there to sort of take over for him. Um, we've been introduced to new characters. We've got uh, Judo Master, who seems to be three foot tall, but can certainly kick some bottom. That's what we can see there. Um, so uh, the Senator, um, who's now been shot in the face <laughs> by Peacemaker, it is. Um, basically making a comeback and now realizing what his job is so um yeah so i think we've got some alien host things going on here it's very intriguing you know what i don't want to stop the blather stop the jibber jabber let's just watch it shall we let's just get into it okay let's do that now boom so after the butterfly flew out of goff's head what happened to it i shot it just a little part would have been nice to have captured it but i guess it's good it didn't get away yes i'm not sure i'm ever gonna walk again why? Motherfucker cut half my pinky toe off. It's the most important toe there is. Yeah, that's not true. Yeah, it is. You can't walk without it. <laughs> you can walk just fine without a pinky toe. You'll fall over all the time and look stupid, and everyone will laugh at you. Who's going to laugh at you for falling over because you don't have a toe? <laughs> <laughs> I was just imagining it. I'm so sorry. Oh, there he is. What are we going to do about him? Hey, no! no! Peacemaker in my office. Judah Massa! Okay. You sure your head is in this? What? You choked last night. Are you kidding me? Maybe that wouldn't have happened if you put a goddamn dove apiece on the sniper rifle. One of the most important things about killing someone to me is a fucking dove apiece on the weapon. That's bullshit and you know it. You also told me to kill kids. You didn't say why. <laughs> yeah, okay, one was homely. That didn't make it better, it made it worse. I started to feel sorry for it. Yeah, man, push you too hard on that one. I made a vow to have peace at any cost. No matter how many men, women, and children I need to kill to get it. But I'm not fucking killing kids just because you say so. Ooh. You're sure that's all it is? Yeah. Good. Oh. Because right now the world needs a son of a bitch, and you're the only one I got. Listen again, I'm sorry about last night. I've never killed anyone before. You said. Mm. I've never shot anyone. I've never shot at anyone. Hell, I'm a pescatarian. So you're okay with making that poor bastard's last minute of life the worst suffering imaginable because you're too much of a coward to put him out of his misery, but you won't eat a fucking fish. Got it. I do eat fish pescatarians who don't eat pork. I don't beans. give a shit, Adebayo. The truth is, you want to do this job, you can't balk, ever. You have to make the hard choice when necessary. I got to go to the bathroom. Two. Can you just bonk him on the head? Hey, you just going to keep him here? What else are we supposed to do with him? I don't know, a hospital? What, so we can narc? God, there's so many secrets. Yeah, that's what Black Ops is, dude. And um, don't worry about Hardcore. She doesn't really like anybody. I, mean, I guess <laughs> I gotta show her and learn that I got what it takes, I guess. Well, I got what it takes. Stomped his ass. Listen, uh, I've been meaning to thank you for allowing me to be tortured last night. <laughs> God, yes. You're welcome. You know, I for a minute I was I was kind of PO. Like you didn't care about the fact that I was in, you know, agonizing pain. <laughs> but 
Okay. Yeah, but then I realized you were you were just supporting me and helping me to become the best me that I could be, someone who doesn't spill the beans while being electrocuted and having half his toe cut off. He's already picking up on it. What? It just seems like under the surface you're kind of angry about it. I'm not. It seems like you are. Well, I'm not at all, dude. Okay, the way you said dude right there. What? It seems miffed. I said it like I always say it. You know what? If anything, you should be grateful because you would feel really guilty if I gave that guy information because you were too much of a candy ass to take a little torture. Oh, yeah, I would have been real guilty. You see, that <laughs> that right there was angry. No, it wasn't. It was normal. I was, I was agreeing with you. Oh, wrong. He didn't pick up on it. <laughs> This is like a cool room though, isn't it? Look at it. What hell is that? It's got a dove on it, doesn't matter. Yeah, I actually thought that would make more sense that you just take all of them. Looks crazy. There are gaps in the armor. What? Your dad's white dragon costume, right? There are weak points where the cloth is. But I told you wait in the car. All the radio stations are playing commercials. How is it so big in this place? It's a quantum unfolding storage area. It leads to a dimensional nodule outside normal space. Well, I guess your dad's pretty brainy for a racist. It's a TARDIS. Dimensionally transcendental. Your dad's a racist, and you work with him. I don't work with him. He makes me stuff. If it walks like a duck. That's all I'm saying. Batman has a coterie of supervillains. Joker, Riddler, Mad Hatter. So what? You said you were a superhero like Batman. Do you have a coterie of supervillains? No, he doesn't. So maybe you're not a superhero after all. With an attitude like that, you're definitely a supervillain. You're going to end up in jail with your father soon enough. Oh. What are you talking about? Me? He trusts you most. I think he trusts Harcourt the most. No, he wants to have sex with Harcourt. He trusts you. He said you were the only one he was sure wasn't a butterfly. I need you to talk him out of seeing his father. That could screw us in a number of ways. How exactly? Your lack of a resume made me hesitant to bring you onto this team. Huh? Amanda Waller insisted you were ready. Prove her right. Oh, uh oh. He's gonna wriggle out of it. Using skills. I can't just abandon him in there. I have to go talk to him. Do you? Really? Look, we all know what he's done to you. You don't know shit! We do. It's in your files, Chris. It's Chris now? How he's treated you your whole life? What's it say? Nothing, you just... Okay, he's got his issues, right? Issues? He's a white supremacist who used to dress up as a supervillain called the White Dragon. He's not as bad as he seems. He thinks people with my color skin are second-class citizens. That's fucked up, okay? Dad, listen. I didn't know anything about this, okay? People I'm working with, they did their own thing. Switch your fingerprints for mine. They did what? I know, it's fucked up, but I had nothing to do with it. They think this is gonna stick? No, I didn't. I don't know. All I gotta do is go to these assholes and say, hey, check the fingerprints, they don't match. I know. I saw you come out of your mother's cooch. I should have slit your throat then and there. Oh my God, God, what's wrong with him? I had any feelings for you, not like your brother. Him, I fucking loved, but you? You were just a blob of flesh I felt nothing for. I'll turn myself in, I swear. As soon as the operation's over. This is bigger than me, it's bigger than you. And I'm just asking for once, just make the sacrifice. You're a rube like you've always been. Rube. I'm not letting my own damn son work for them. I'm no rat, but the first chance I get, I'm spilling everything. 
He's bogged down by his old man. Chris is. He's a good man. Like you. You think I'm a good man? Yeah. I can tell. But his father? I say he's one of the worst people to ever set foot on this planet. Now, Chris, he has a big heart, so he wants to find something to love there. But there, there is nothing to love inside of that man. Wow. And it kills me. Because I don't think Chris is ever going to be happy as long as his father's around. Hang on, what's she up to? I just wish there was some way he would just... Go away. Oh, see, I thought that's what she was doing. Uh, what? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I don't have to tell you that, motherfucker. Keep face down on the ground now. Fine, I don't care. I'll get on the ground all day long. Oh, it's sort of getting to prison, Just isn't it? Watch my pinky toe on my right foot. Uh, you, pinky toes aren't that important. You don't need it to walk or anything, but I've sustained an injury and it hurts, so. Ow. Yes. You've lost your little judo master. Yeah, tell him to go fuck himself. <laughs> hey, John. Oh my God, we are so incredibly fucked. Like next level fucked. Okay, I checked the restraints; they were tight. I don't know how the fuck he got loose. He's probably in the cupboard. I knew he'd be what in the cupboard. What do you think, judo man? How's he was finding chips? Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I think Cobra Kai just got out. Why well, hang it right? Because you can just go. Yeah, you're giving away quite a lot of body weight there. <laughs> John Cena's actually like crushing. You have no idea. Butterflies, they're not what you think they are. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, uh, 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 what? Oh, she shot him. Huh? I was going to win that fight. <laughs> Pepped up time. This time you didn't balk, huh? Do you think he's gonna die? Mm, probably. I'm not cut out for this shit. Mm. The first time I killed someone, I didn't have my period for three months. And then oh. it gets easier? No, not really. But it's good it hurts. Otherwise, you become like Amanda Waller and you start treating human life like it's nothing. None of this sits right with me. First, I manipulated Vigilante into going into prison and killing Peacemaker's father, and now this. Back up, what? <laughs> Can you get Vigilante out of the system before he screws us worse than we already screwed? I don't even know this guy's name. White male, uh, oh my God. 30s, green eyes. Adrian something, isn't it? Adrian Chase. Adrian Chase, the vigilante. That's him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up, fellas? 
but you toads seem like the coolest guys in this place, so I was thinking, you know, like we should get to know each other. What? Let's pick a topic, yeah. and then everyone goes around in a circle and says their feelings on that topic. Let's start with, uh, I don't know. Let's each say something that we're grateful for that black people have contributed to American culture. Is this dude joking right now? No. <laughs> hey, look, I'll go first. I'm grateful that black people gave us rock and roll music. Leonard Skinner, ZZ Top, 38 Special, all those guys owe everything to black American folk and blues musicians. I mean, they wouldn't exist without it. <laughs> and then white redneck music would just sound like, well, what it sounded like before black people, which was the wet, sloppy <laughs> sounds of fucking your sister. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just the guy who's gonna fuck you so hard your asshole's gonna be dragging behind you like a tail. Oh, no, you're not gonna <laughs> hold me into attacking you. We both know there's cameras all over this place, and now these morons look like the aggressors. On the ground, now! Both of you! Yo, the area started it. This dude did nothing. You're a bad dad. I need to talk to Detective Song now! I need to talk to Detective Song! I got information to work on this case! My son's trying to kill me! Get me to touch the son! Smith, you really have to leave me alone in my off hours unless it's work-related. Well, this is kind of work-related. What? What's it say in my file about what my dad did when I was a kid? Oh. What? Adebayo just said there was some stuff in there about me and my dad when I was a kid. I never studied your fucking file. Yeah. But still. Ooh. Fine. It says that he trained you to kill from when you were very young, and it says that your brother died under mysterious circumstances, and that you were involved in that. Oh, wow. Thanks. That's it. No, your tits look stellar in that shirt. And I'm saying that as a compliment. That's not in a sexist way. <laughs> I think you probably did. Oh, flashback. Is that a young peacemaker? Is it a. S Ooh. Detective work, eh? Leora. I think I found something. Great. I'll be right over. What do I get a feeling he's a butterfly? Knew it! Totally called it! Totally called it! That was fun. I enjoyed that. It, um, it's kind of an interest, isn't it? It was a lot more exposition in this episode, a lot more sort of talking and, uh, you know, a lot more sort of finding stuff out. That was sort of pretty good. And, in, you know, I guess I'll give us fleshing out um, Vigilante a bit more. You've got that kind of geeky nerd killer thing going on. Um, and finding out that, you know, uh, that uh, basically Peacemaker's dad is a piece of work, isn't he? Also, you know, a killer, you know, supremacist killer. He was good, obviously good at what he did. Um, and a lot of backstory coming up about uh, Peacemaker and his brother. So all of that's now beginning to sort of uh, to to permeate. This is really good that we're coming to the fourth episode now, and now we're now beginning to just to sort of you know pull the curtain back, 
on a few things on actual essential character we can now sort of find out what's going on with him you know the idea that you know thinking well actually you're a super villain you, know, you want to be a superhero but you know you were born to a villain really and now we know that we have these sort of um, parasitical uh, aliens i knew it i said in this episode three that mers is, a, is an alien and maybe that's what he's doing maybe He's like that one good alien that's going to kill all the bad aliens. Because he said, didn't he, before, you know, he's done terrible sort of things, and now he's trying to look for a sort of atonement. That's what I'm going to say. That's, I'm going to, that, you're going to find more out about that. Just when he was sitting there watching uh, Loaded Weapon, or was it Lethal Weapon? Loaded Weapon was the spoof. Um, so things are like, you know, ticking along sort of nicely now. Um, and also judo master being shot in the chest and still surviving so he's obviously got some kind of healing magical skills <laughs> the peacemaker seems to be sort of aware of so uh obviously he's going to join the team at some time so we'll just have to see actually how that sort of develops anyway that was fantastic that was episode four of peacemaker let join me for episode five and remember to like subscribe comment and take a look at any of these other videos that are floating around my head right now Okie dokie, pick it a pokey. See y'all later. Bye.